my name is Sally Haron. Thank you for tuning in. I am here with a very good friend of mine, Mr. Winston Henderson. Welcome, Winston. Thank you, Sally. Look in the camera and say thank you. No, come no, we're not going to talk about this. Just talk to Winston. Just say hi. Hi. Okay. No, he's a very good friend of mine. And we actually just did a video on words, so I just want to have a one on one with him. I want to have a question and answer. And I just want to ask him, like, Winston, where do you see yourself five or ten years from now? Uh, five or ten years from now? Um, I, I actually see myself in. Five, five or ten years from now. Um, I actually see myself, you know, impacting a lot of people all around the world. I mean, something that I'm very passionate about, you know, personal development is something I'm very passionate about. Um, and I honestly believe that my purpose is, you know, to, to want, first of all, help people create a better life for themselves and their families financially, and to help people grow and develop, um, you know, from a personal development standpoint. It's something I'm very passionate about, which is why I started my foundation, uh, Jamaica Reformation Project. About I think it was about four or five years ago when I started because of that passion and how that, that, that really came about is you know I remember when I was 18 years old and you know I used to see all these homeless people and I used to always ask myself you know why is it that the people with the money and the resources don't actually do something about it and that's when I really made up my mind you know to really uh, decide to do something about it to, to, to be that change that I want to see in the world um, so five or ten years from now I, I, I mean, I, I can't necessarily say where I'll be in terms of the scope of what I'll be doing, but I know it'll be on a very grand scale. Okay, so so that's your dream and that is what you visualize, right? Right. What I want to ask you, what is the importance of, of vision in all of this? Because there are great things that we all want to achieve and we're, we're in a particular spot right now where the thing hasn't actually actualized. Right. right, so it's not before us as yet. Right. So for all the persons who are watching this video right now, they have these grand dreams, they have ideas. What is the importance of vision in ensuring that all these things take place, or that you keep the dream alive before it even comes forth? I mean, I'll tell you, Sandy, uh, vision. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, when it comes to actually achieving your dreams, your purpose, your destiny, whatever it is that you want to call it, um, vision is probably the most important thing because I can tell you from, from personal experience, when you're actually going after something great, that's when the adversities are great as well. And you know, that vision is the only thing that's going to keep you, that vision is the only thing that's going to help you to, to continue to give you hope. You know that one day you know things will work out the way you want it to because you know when you're actually going after something great you know every every single thing is going to come at you every single obstacle um whether internally or externally internally from the standpoint of you know you're going to convince yourself a thousand times why it's not going to work why you know it probably made more sense to quit than to push forward you know when you start having other obstacles or challenges you know come at you when when you know you thought that probably something was going to work out in your favor and it, and it ends up not going how it's supposed to you know <laughs> and you get so 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 discouraged um to really move on you know and then when you have like even your very friends or family around you you know who, who may not believe in what you're doing um that may not support you that may not give you that encouragement that you really need to keep going um, from, a, from a mental or from an emotional standpoint it's, it's really only that vision that vision of what you want to accomplish that vision of what you want to see happen in your life that's really going to keep you keep you energized and keep you going and, and you know cause you to get up back on days where you know you really don't even want to get up out of bed really <laughs> to, to, to go there and pursue that, that purpose or that vision okay and that's something that i wanted to ask you as well but you sort of mentioned it what if you have this grand vision, right? Like I have a, a, a vision of being a, a video director, right? Or, or a producer, like I want to do things like that, write scripts and, and, and produce movies. What if no one believes? Well, it's an important thing, Sandy. It's okay if no one else believes. The important thing is that you have to believe. You know, because that's the most important thing, because it's not others' beliefs 
that's really going to, to enable you to, to reach that end point. Um, in your case of being a video director, it's really your own belief. You know, your own belief in, in yourself, you know, your own belief in your capabilities, your own belief um, in that you know what you're doing is actually what you're destined to do is your purpose. And I know it may seem um, corny, you know, because you know our, our, our cliche, you know, because we hear it all the time, oh you need to believe in yourself, you need to believe. But trust me, belief is so important, you know, because if you don't believe then who else will? And it's really belief that will that will enable you you know, that belief, that faith that it will happen, that will enable you, you know, to continue to go and to continue to move it, um, even when the odds are stacked against you. Okay, and is it enough to, to believe or to have a vision? Because a lot of persons, they have things that they want to accomplish. I'm sure there are persons watching this video right now. There are things they want to do. For example, somebody could be watching the video who wants to be a nurse but they've never taken a class, they've never actually made that first step to actually move one step closer to accomplish the thing that, the thing that they want. So, it's important to act as well, is it not? I mean, definitely, I definitely. Um, because, I mean, even the Bible, the Bible says it, you know, faith without works is dead, which means pretty much, if you have the belief and the faith, but you don't act, <laughs> then you be um, I mean, dream or that vision that you may have for your life is dead. It's, it's not going to come to, to, to fruition or, or to actualization. Um, so acting is, is very important. I mean, you know, move even when you know you don't know what to do. Even when you know you're afraid of, of, of the of the unknown, you know, of, of you know, can I really do this? Can I really accomplish this? It's very important to actually act and move. And you know, I can definitely talk from personal experience because I'm the type of person I'm very analytical. You know, always thinking, you know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> People may not understand what yeah. that means, but, but you know, all meaning that, you know, you're someone very wise, very analytical, always analyze every situation before you actually move. And, and that's one of the problems that I had because I would always overanalyze everything. And because of that, you know, they say overanalysis causes paralysis. So I would think about it too much and then not move. Overanalysis causes paralysis. Right. Uh, which means you, know, you think about it too much, and because you think about it so much, you start thinking about all the reasons why it can't work instead of all the reasons why it must work. You know, because of that, no, it causes you not to move, you know, you're paralyzed, you don't want to move. So, I, I would say just, just, just do it. One of the things I've realized is that you, know, you, you never really know exactly what to do or what's supposed to happen or how it's supposed to be done until you're actually, you know, in the actual act of doing it and that's when you really figure it out after you've made all the mistakes. Okay, so, so pretty much what we spoke about in this video, we spoke about your dream, what you, what you hope to accomplish, no, 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 no. <laughs> what, what, you, what you see yeah. yourself accomplishing five or ten years from now. Yeah, so, uh, so, yeah, we have to say it we have to wrap up, no, we have to say it when we wrap up, no, I don't have video. You know, all of this way to do the video, right? Nice. So anyway, so we spoke about his we spoke about Winston's dream where he sees himself ten or five or ten years from now. And so he shared that with us and we spoke about vision. What else we spoke about? We spoke about belief. We um, spoke about belief. We spoke about worry in the previous um, videos. Yeah. Um, and, and and just you know, just just going back to belief. You know, one of the things you need to you need to know is that you know I spoke earlier about you know you have to actually believe in believing because if you don't believe in it then it's not going to work. But you know you have to also know the things that impact your belief as well, so that you can grow your belief. And you know the things that impact your belief are actually you know your environment, you know the people who you are surrounded with um, um, every day, you know the things that you're looking at, the things that you're listening to, because even Bible says you know faith comes by hearing. So in order for you to build and grow that belief, you have to actually be hearing, you know, the, 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 the right things, the positive things, the things that you want to have in your life every single day. And then going back to that word, you, know, you have to actually you now speak it. Because if you don't speak it, then you won't necessarily materialize. Excuse me. No, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so belief is very important. So even if you don't believe it, you know, still speak it. You know, uh, one of the things that, that I do, um, as crazy as it may sound, but it actually works, is I actually record myself saying the person I want to become, you know, repeating over and over the person, right, affirmation, the person I want to become. I 
the things that I want to do and I record it on my phone and I'm listening but right through the day I was listening to myself, talking to myself I'm about the right things because that's how you really build your belief in yourself and what you, what, what you want to do. So for all the persons with smartphones, if you have a Blackberry, you can actually do a voice note and you have your affirmations, you don't have to go and read something, you can actually just hit play and listen to it. So that's something we encourage persons to do as well. Yeah, hey, but it also is very important to speak it as well. Mm -hmm. Because the spoken word is, is more powerful than, 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 the, than the heard word, really. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you have a dream, right? We're just encouraging you, myself and Winston, we're encouraging you to just pursue it. Regardless of what it takes, regardless of what any, anyone has to say, we're encouraging you right now to just move in the direction of your dream. Let nothing prevent you from getting there. There is nothing that is impossible. You can absolutely do it, right Winston? I can do all things to you guys. You can do all things to All friends. things, not some things, not small things. All things. And everything is possible to people who believes. So that's what we're saying to you. Charge towards your dreams. It doesn't matter. Get rid of the fears and just move. And as long as you decide to move, the Lord will open the doors for you and it will come to pass. So thank you for watching and look out for more videos. Thank you for watching and look out for more videos from Sam. Evidence of Fitness or Evidence.com. Alright, stay tuned. Take care. Bye. Be blessed.